What's going on YouTube? It's the Independent Stacker coming to you again tonight, November 4th, 2019. We've made it out of the weekend. We finished up a nice day across the big board. We've had some winners, but we've had some losers in those key categories that we like to follow. So let's check it out. Gold is down $7, currently at $15.0920. Silver's down 12 cents at 1810, giving us a ratio of 83.37. Platinum is down about $14, currently at 939.20, and palladium took a huge dive coming out of the weekend. We're down at 1788.36. We did see positive gains on both copper and aluminum today, and we also saw a $10 increase on rhodium, currently at 53.50. Saw a $30 bump in barrels of crude oil, currently at $56.53. And we saw gains on both the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. Dow Jones closing out at $27,462.11. And the NASDAQ closing up at $84.33.20. If you guys are following the Bitcoin market, we've seen a continued rally from our high point last week and the dip down below 9 currently at... 93.85.18. Tonight's big stacker shout out goes to Mountain Wolf 33. I'm sorry, Mountain Wolf 333. Mountain Wolf 333 is a newer channel. Been around uh, my comment section for the last couple weeks. And sir, I do greatly appreciate that. I'm going to post a link down in the description below to Mountain Wolf 333's channel. Make sure you slide on over, hit that subscribe button for him, and tell him that the Independent Stacker sent you. In tonight's video, we're adding a new refinery bar that I don't have yet to my stack. This is the Asahi Refining Company. Uh, Asahi is uh, a world conglomerate of refiners. Uh, if you don't know about them, they are from Japan, is where they're actually based. Uh, but they do have uh, refining operations all around the world. Um, we have one here in the United States, and they also have one in Canada. I don't know which refinery this actually came from. Uh, but I suspect uh, if you did a little bit of deep searching, you could probably punch in uh, the serial number somewhere and it would tell you where that uh, where this bar came from. So guys, let me know down in the comments. How do you guys collect your silver bars? Do you guys just merely stack for the weight? Uh, or are you guys on a mission to get different art bars or like me collect as many different refineries as possible? I personally like to go after refineries the different refineries that I don't have helps keep the uh, Keep it interesting. Like silver bars are cool and we're you know We're doing this for a myriad of different reasons, but in order to keep it interesting and fun for me I personally like to collect the different refineries. So uh, This is number 10 in the tube Went in and pulled out uh, the other nine that we have here. And although the bars don't give us the same gratifying jingle jangle as some of the other items in the stack, we'll go ahead and give you some of that jingle jangle tonight. Totally different jingle jangle. Totally different. But it's all right. We got all sorts of stuff we can do the jingle jangle with. See if I can drop these all in there in one shot. Woo, look at that. Perfect pull. All right, we're halfway home on that too. Guys, I just want to let you know that if you were a winner in the 100 episode giveaway that we had last weekend, not this one we just wrapped up, but the one before that, I did mail out all the prizes today with the exception of just a few. Uh, I had not received uh, mailing addresses from a few of you. Let's review who those were. Uh, Michael M. had won a dime, 1964 dime. The Step Stacker also has an unclaimed dime. His is from 1946. He does have a 
special surprise as well that I'm wanting to ship him, but uh, I don't have his address. And uh, PDX Brewer. PDX Brewer, you got to send me your address. I got a Barry Larkin 1987 gum stained tops card here for you with your name on it and a 1964 quarter so you guys uh pdx brewer step stacker michael m if you could please do email me at indieguy711 at gmail.com post that right there send me that address and i will make sure that those get sent out to you directly uh one other person that i've been talking with that uh, was actually a winner uh, is Precious Metals Updates, and I'm sure we all know and appreciate Precious Metals Updates channel. Uh, he had won a 1964 dime. Uh, he had emailed me and said, go ahead and keep the dime. And I said, if you're all right with it, I'd like to do a sponsored giveaway. And he said, absolutely. So be sure to check out some future videos. Uh, I've got another pickup from over the weekend that uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways with that I think you guys are going to be... Uh, really enjoying we're gonna be giving away some proof 1963 and 1964 dimes in future contests but we're also gonna give away pdx brewers dime and so be looking for that sponsored gaw coming on down the pike if you enjoyed tonight's video please consider smashing that like button pow and if you happen to be new to the independent stacker channel please consider hitting that subscribe and jingle jangle bell right there bing bong so you can be notified of when new content is coming out the independent stackers here once again remind you if the women don't find you handsome they should at least find your pockets heavy